Miss Christina Akiwa. Going to the Ramakumari Center, I do feel the connection has become deeper, so I'm just enjoying the journey so far. When I come to the Ramakumari Center, normally with a lot of stress and a lot of just all the different emotions from my day and whatever's going on in my life, and then when I meditate and I have that time to connect with God, it doesn't matter what's happening in my life, the moment I step out, yeah. I feel peacefulness. When I connect with God, it gives me a sense of calmness, a sense mm -hmm. of peacefulness and warmth and love. And it, this helps a lot for me because I'm somebody who doesn't handle stress very well <laughs> so these moments of connecting with God is very important for me just to be happy and peaceful that's the biggest thing that I sort of enjoy out of it is the way that I feel after I meditate it's just the calmness and just the warmth that I get afterwards I always speak about Brahma Kumaris to a lot of people it's just important to spread the word and eventually people will come I've told a lot of my friends about it and I have had one friend who's come along to the center with me she had an amazing experience for me meditation is the the key because I do get very affected by people's energies. I've always been a very sensitive person in that sort of way. So whenever I'm in big crowds or if a lot is going on, I always need that time to kind of be with myself. Meditation is talking to yourself and just saying, you know, it's fine, just be calm, happy. And it's just that internal conversation that you have with yourself that sort of keeps yourself relaxed. And these are the sort of things that you've learned through meditation, going to the Brahma Kumari Center, just the internal conversations that I have with myself from time to time that help me deal with certain situations that might be stressful. Being here today for me, this is something that I'll look back on and I will be extremely proud of the fact that I got to be here and I got to speak. It's nice to be part of Ramakumari's family. When I first arrived, I instantly feel peaceful. It's quiet, the air is clear, it's very calm energy here and uh, everyone was extremely welcoming as well. So it's that sort of family feeling. Also just noticing how big the place is and how beautifully it's been set up and all the meditation halls like the Lotus Hall visually it's really beautiful. Apart from just feeling the good energy and feeling peacefulness, I love the way that the place is set up as well. Very accommodating. What is your experience with Tadi Chan Ki? It was an honor. When I was sitting with her, she was telling me that you should always just feel happiness from within. It doesn't matter what is going on in your life or where you are or who you are. That happiness should just reside within you and you should just express that to the world. And when she was talking, I felt like my eyes were welling up. I felt very emotional in that moment and I don't know why, but emotional in a good way. I think maybe that's just how I react to things when I feel happy about something I start to get tears so when I was with her I felt that kind of emotional feeling and she has a very strong beautiful energy as well so I felt all of that and after leaving her again it's just a calming feeling I feel blessed in other forms of meditation that I had tried, tried. in the past I always had a very busy mind and I just could not disconnect with Brahma Kumari's meditation it was the first time that I could really switch off I had absolute clear peace of mind and I could just focus on that point of light which is Shiv Baba. I was meditating in the Lotus Hall last night. You could just sit there the whole night. Normally one, two minutes and I'm just like, oh, I'm done in other <laughs> forms of meditation. But with Brahma Kumari's meditation, I could just go on and on and on. I enjoy it so much. You hear one. like an internal voice and whatever stress is going on or whatever question that you have, it's like a very clear internal voice. It just gives you an answer. We have one creator, Shiv Baba, and he is just love. Shiv Baba. The creator loves us and I so love totally. him and we have a beautiful connection Trinish. and he wants to be part of my life and he's just waiting for me to connect and it's about me learning how to connect with him about clearing my mind about just having that clarity and being able to meditate in a very pure environment and yeah. eventually that connection becomes a lot deeper with time that's how I've always viewed him Good. it's a point of love I do get very busy with my work and it takes my mind away and I always have to keep reminding myself no I need mm. to connect with God I need to meditate at the end of the day I don't think that world will ever give me the full fulfillment that spirituality can. So with that reminder, I always try to keep everything in balance and I try mm. not to forget what's the most important thing and that is Shiv